This video is going to go over surface area and we are going to be looking at only pyramids during this video. Um, one of the pyramids we could see is a square based pyramid. Um, this first view is in a 3D perspective. You can kind of see through the figure and the base is underneath here. When you unfold it or unwrap it, if you could, the base would be the part in the center and then all the sides would fold down to go around and sides are always triangles on pyramids. All right, so the attributes of a pyramid. First of all, the most important thing is a pyramid only has a one base as opposed to prisms. Prisms have two bases. Pyramids only have a one base. Then if you look down in the two diagrams, I'm going to shade in the bases just a little bit. Okay, now I'm also going to label those showing that I have identified the base of both of them. And this one has a square base and this one has a triangle base. This first shape is a rectangular pyramid. You can look in the diagram and see that the center piece is a rectangle. It is six by eight and I'm going to trace around that so I can see it a little better. It stands out. I'm going to fill in the box so I have some organized notes here. Label the base as a rectangle. To do a rectangle you just do A equals BH base times height. The numbers are the 6 and the 8. 6 times 8 is 48. So now I'm ready for the sides. The sides on a pyramid are always triangles. The top one and the bottom one are the same size. The line that starts at the top of the triangle and goes all the way straight down, this is representing the height of the triangle. Then the base, these correspond with each other, they are eight. So I'm gonna put that other number eight right there. And then I'm also going to label this line coming down is supposed to be a 14 so that I can see both of those real good. Um, the sides are always triangles like I just said. And the area of a triangle is always base times height and divide by two. Now since this is a rectangle uh, base, I have two separate dimensions for my um, triangular sides. So the first two that I picked are these purple ones, the top and the bottom, and they're eight by 14. So I'm gonna do eight times 14. That's 112. But then I need to divide that by two. So the final amount for that would be 56. And then remember, I also have another one that's the same size. So I need to put that in twice. If you want to label these pieces, that piece is 56. This piece is 56. We said the center was 48. This is up to you how you want to label. All right, so the last two sides are on the left and the right. This one, um, the dotted line going through the center is 12. So this represents the height. And then the base of this triangle matches up over here on this side, which is six. So these two triangles are 12 by six. I'll put those in green. Six times 12 is 72. 72 divided by two is 36. And then remember, there's two of them, so I have to write it down twice. And I could label these if I needed to, just so I can see where my numbers are going. This piece is 36. This piece is 36. 
So when I look over here at this figure, I have one, two, three, four sides. So I have these two and these two, and then I have one base. So I should have five total numbers that I need to combine together to get the total surface area of the entire pyramid. And when I combine them, it's going to be 48 plus 56 plus 56 plus 36 plus 36. Those are all five pieces. And I've kind of run out of room over here on this side, so I'm going to put mine over here. But the final answer is 232 square centimeters. 232 square centimeters total surface area. Now, if you understand that um, 56 plus 56 is really 112 and 36 and 36 is back to 72, when you're adding all of these up, if you just want to say 72 plus 112 plus 48, you could. Just be aware that sometimes the base um, it's going to be a shape where you won't just go back to the straight number. Okay, so make sure you look at your pieces before you add them all up. The second pyramid we're going to look at is a square pyramid. And I know that because when you look in the center, they have the same number being labeled for the base and the height or the length and the width of um, the base. So I'm going to start filling out my chart. The base we just said was a square. The way you find area of a square is just base times height. If I were to trace over the base in my diagram, I could shade it if I wanted to. That highlighter color is in good enough. Good, good, good. Okay, so then my number is 4. So I would just do 4 times 4, and that's 16. So I'm going to hold on to that number. 16 and then all the sides they're only labeling this one right here and telling me that the height of this is six and they only have to do it on one piece because it's a square so I'm going to trace over this one piece and the base matches up with the square which was four so my dimensions for the triangle are four and six I'm going to fill in my table, the sides, the shape is a triangle. And you find the area of a triangle by doing base times height, divide by two. All right, using four and six for my base and height, I would do four times six is 24. And then 24 divided by two, that is 12. So now each one of these triangular pieces would be 12 and there's four of them if you like to label each piece individually awesome if you don't want to then just know that I have four of them and 12 12 12 12 if I put everything together in one final answer it's gonna say um, 16 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 or you could do 16 plus 48 either way you add them all together and you get 64 I'm gonna put my answer bigger over here too um, this was in centimeters as well so 64 square centimeters and that would be the final answer for surface area 64 square centimeters